using ICT Assignment 1 for EDN114. The software I'll be using is GeoGebra. So this assignment is about the educational uses of ICT in the classroom and how we can expand learning opportunities by using ICT. So the software that I'm using, as I said, is GeoGebra and it's useful because you can do geometry, algebra, spreadsheets, graphing, statistics and calculus and you can modify that to create um, a program or worksheets that are appropriate for children in early primary or in high school as well as beyond that. It's also really, really easy to access. You can uh, download it for your computer, your tablet or your phone and if you can't do that, you can also access it online for free, which is really good. So the use of ICT is really growing in modern day classrooms with the introduction of iPads, computers and laptops for student use. So it's really important that we teach the children how to use these at a young age and so they can become computer literate as well as preparing them for the future because in the future a lot of these students are going to have computer based jobs or technology based jobs. So it's important that we create a level of understanding and knowledge about ICT in students at a young age. It's also really interactive and easily accessible. So you can teach students how to do things at school and then they can go home and they can play around with it and learn. And it's a fun way of having homework because they don't really realize they're doing it. So they can access it at home. It's easier for the teachers as well to prepare, save and reuse resources. And what I mean by that is I can create a work page on GeoGebra and I can save that. So I can create uh, an example of how angles work as I'll show you in a few slides. And I can save that and I can teach my class about these angles and then instead of having to rub that all off the whiteboard at the end of the day, I can just save that and then that way I can pull out the exact same thing next year. And as well you can build on it and um, tidy it up and make it neater and better every year if you wish. It's also really sustainable of course because you're doing it on the computer there's no paper and as well for students you don't need to keep every single uh, shape and angle that they draw so it's it's useful that the children can choose what they want to keep and what they want to save. They're also more engaged because it's a visual way of learning and they're able to play around with it themselves. They can see what's happening when they change things for example angles and triangles they can see how that works. It's also really exact and accurate in the measurements which is really good for maths especially for slightly older age students who are doing for example, uh, 360 degrees in a triangle and they can see exactly that those angles, each of those three angles do indeed add up to 360 degrees. So ICT in an overall classroom is really important, but in mathematics, it's also very, very useful. So the ACARA code that I'm going to be basing this demonstration and presentation off is the ACMMG141 and that's geometric reasoning for year six level. And what they need to be able to do is they need to be able to identify the difference between 90 degrees acute, obtuse, straight and reflex angles. They also need to be able to measure and estimate angle size and classify angles by their size. It also mentions co-interior angles, corresponding angles and vertically opposite angles. So this is a demonstration of how you can use ICT, in particular GeoGebra, to enhance learning opportunities for your students. And um, the part of the curriculum I'm going to be focusing on for this uh, demonstration is classifying and identifying angles by size. And rather than doing it on the whiteboard and drawing up several different sized angles and then rubbing them out and redoing them and asking the children to tell you what they are, you could actually give your children this file and they could open this up on their own iPad, computer, a desktop, and they can play around with it. So what I've written down here is I've written the angles that I'd want the students to look for. Uh, and this is taken from the curriculum and I've set it at exactly 90 degrees and I've done this because it is a little bit hard to get these angles exactly on point so exactly 90 degrees exactly 180 it's a bit tricky and you'll see that as I go through and move it around but what you could do is you could ask the students after you've described what an acute angle is and what an obtuse angle and a right angle once you've described all that you could give this to the students and allow them pretty much to have a play around with it and teach themselves about the angles. So we can show the children that in between here, this one's an acute angle. And then when it hits exactly 90 degrees, that's a right angle. Between where D is mate, now and A, that's a obtuse angle. And then we've got our straight angle exactly on the line. 
like I'm showing you, it's a little bit hard to get zero, zero. And then in between point A and point B across the bottom, this is our reflex angle. And then a full turn, of course, but it's going to skip back over to zero, zero. What's good about this, though, is that the children can play and they can see the angle really clearly and they can see what they're looking at. For example, in here, if this was a triangle, the students can see that within this triangle, there are these angles and they can have a play around with it themselves. And they can add stuff like this and they can change which angle they're wanting to look at. Like that. So they can really play around with it and teach themselves about the different type of angles. And as you can see here, if we managed to get it on 90.0, with the two 90 degrees angles make up straight and so it's a really good um, opportunity to let the students do it themselves so this is an example of how you can use GeoGebra or ICT to check the student understanding once you've run through the past the um, previous activities that I just went through you can give the students this quiz and they can access this online they simply just go through, put their answers in, whatever they think is the correct answer. For argument's sake, I'm just going to put random ones in. They simply read the questions, put the answers in, and then click check. This will take them to a page that will show them which answer they selected and which was the right answer. After that, they can then choose to try again, or they can choose to close it. So to summarise ICT in the classroom is really important. It's really important that we as teachers start allowing our students to use it more often because the reality is when they leave school, they are going to be using ICT every day and their job is probably going to be an ICT based job. It also expands the learning opportunities within the classroom because there's so many materials and resources out there at our fingertips that we can use. It's also much more sustainable uh, as we don't have all the paper waste and it helps students learn in a visual and tactile manner. And particularly for this, GeoGebra is a very useful tool, especially for math mathematics, as it's really visual and really, really accurate. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.